I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the fundamentals about finding irrational roots of a polynomial equation. Question is, find the exact roots of x cubed minus 4x square plus 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Exact roots are, will leave the answer in square root, will not write it in decimals. Right? Now when we are trying to find roots of any equation, we are trying to find at least one factor in the form of in this case x minus a since the coefficient of x is 1 we are using a factor as x minus a where a could be factor of 3 so the possible values are factors of 3 and the factors of 3 are plus minus 1 or plus minus 3 so we'll Look for the value of the polynomial when it is 0 for any of these values. So we'll begin with p of 1. So if you insert 1 for x or substitute 1 for x, then what do you get? So it is 1 cube minus 4 times 1 square plus 2 times 1 plus 3. So that is 1 minus 4 plus 2 plus 3. So the positive values are 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. So it is not equal to 0. So x minus 1 is not our factor. right? Similarly, we will try the value 2 here. And then we say 2 cubed. So let me write 2 cubed minus 4 times 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 3. right? Now in this case, 2 cubed is 8 and 8 minus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 and that is also 8 minus 16 is minus 8 and minus 8 and 7 is minus 1 so this is also not 0 so let's try p of 3 so you have to try them one after the other so we get 3 q and you should use calculator right so I'm just uh, doing it like this but substitute these values in the calculator it'll be very easy right so if you substitute these values 3 cube is 27 right minus 3 squared is 9 9 times 4 is 36 2 times 3 is 6 and plus 3 now as far as the negative value is 36 the positive values is 27 plus 3 is 30 plus 6 36 36 minus 36 is indeed 0 that really means when we get p of 3 as equal to 0, that means x minus 3 is a factor. Do you understand? So, so what we know is if I divide this equation by x minus 3, in that case, I should get remainder as 0. So let's do that part now. And by doing that, what we can write this equation as one factor is x minus 3, the other factor will be quadratic right since the other factor is quadratic we know how to use quadratic formula and find the answer so that'll be simple for us so p of 3 was 0 so we'll write 3 here and we write coefficients of these numbers right there so first x cube coefficient is 1 then we have minus 4 plus 2 and then we 3 sometimes some coefficients are missing so you have to insert placeholder which is 0 right now let's begin by bringing down 1 so so when we bring down here that's the process this is synthetic division you can also do long division get the answer 3 times 1 is 3 add them up minus 1 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 so you add them up so you get minus 1 times 3 is minus 3 when you add them up 0 is your remainder well that was expected right since we know x minus 3 is a factor so with that we found the other factor, correct? So the other factor in this case is what? This is the coefficient of x square, right? So we have x square minus x minus 1. This is the other factor, okay? And this is a quadratic equation, correct? So at this stage, what we can do is we can write our polynomial. So let me write down the polynomial, which is this term, p of x as equal to x minus 3 we already know is one of the factors and the other factor is the quadratic x square minus x minus 1 correct now we need to find uh, roots 
of this quadratic factor since it cannot be easily factored using product sum and the methods we know we'll use the quadratic formula correct so let's use the quadratic formula to find the answer so we know x is equals to formula is minus p plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a remember we are looking for rational roots and exact answers so that is kind of important to understand at this stage right now a is 1 b is minus 1 c is minus 1 so minus of minus 1 right plus minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 1 divided by 2 times a which is 1 correct so that is what you get so here we get 1 plus minus and within the square root we have what so within the square root we have 1 plus 4 right so we have 1 minus 1 square and 4 times minus and minus becomes plus over 2 and that gives us 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2 do you see that so we'll leave it as such since we are looking for exact roots correct so that becomes the factor of x square minus x minus 1 and there are two right there are conjugate pairs whenever you do like this you always get conjugate pairs right so now we have the solution for us so we say the exact roots or the solution of the polynomial equation is so we can write down our answer now the exact roots are so first one we found is 3 correct which makes this equation 0 the other ones are 1 plus and minus square root 5 over 2 right so this cubic equation has three different roots so that is how we can solve a polynomial equation remember solving polynomial equation is to find its zeros depending on the question you have to write down the answers correct so in this case we, we are looking for exact roots the irrational roots which we have mentioned here do not write them in decimals if the question was write to two decimal places use your calculator and round the answer to two decimal places that is what my suggestion is i hope with this you understand the steps in the coming videos we'll not really get into so many details we'll but we'll just assume many things and move forward okay thank you and all the best